It's all settled in. Hey guys, who's oh. tuning in? Oh. We've got a couple of individuals. We got Roxy. It's so funny, like to look at somebody else when they're looking in there. <laughs> Nick Bar? is um, The phone is going to be this way again mm -hmm. because um, we want to make sure that we can get all of our bodies, yeah. our upper half, in the screen, and you guys can see who's talking. Yeah. Who it's coming on. from? What exactly is going on? Yeah, so let's get started. So I am Diana. I'm Darina, and, and we are Let's Own Power. Um, and we have a lovely guest, yes, yes, Alisa yes. Dunker. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you guys for the invite. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, we had to talk to her. We had to talk to her. We've known her for a while, and we thought. It'd be a good idea to continue promoting Empower El Mundo by having a lot of people from different uh, backgrounds, different lines of healthcare, but mm -hmm. obviously specific to mental health because we got to recognize those types of resources out in the valley. Yes, yes. so mm -hmm. stay tuned because that's this is something that you will see more frequently with mm -hmm. us. Um, we're going to start bringing different individuals onto our, our lives. We're going to also post it to our YouTube and our Facebook. So if you don't follow that yet, it is Empower El Mundo on YouTube. On Facebook, it is Blood to Empower. Mm -hmm. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, but the reason why we brought Elisa Dunker here today is because she Elisa. is an amazing business owner here in the Valley. So she is out of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, and I want to just tell them so just she's so amazing she's got different businesses so many things she owns different businesses mm -hmm. in the valley that focus on uh focus in mental health yeah. servicing various populations so do you want to just kind of give the people a little bit of a background yeah sure. introduce yourself well Thanks my name coming. is thank you yeah. <laughs> my name is elisa dunker i have about 15 years of experience in the mental health field say that again 15 years Aww. and still <laughs> learning and still growing All you can time. never That's know right. enough in this field That's right I have done every level you can think of residential mm -hmm. outpatient inpatient I just have a passion for helping people watching the butterfly effect of watching people grow into what they thought they could never do yes. so I just really have a passion for that so I have two companies uh, fresh start recovery mm -hmm. which is a 24-hour residential facility we treat co-occurring disorders, um, men and women. What's what are co-occurring? Co right, what's co-occurring? Co what's co-occurring? That's, that's a great question. Yes. So that means that they have dual diagnoses. Mm -hmm. So maybe they have some opioid dependence with bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. So we specialize in treating both sides of things and helping them to really understand why is it that they choose to use yeah. instead of it just being fun. It's not fun anymore when you're losing things. That so we really take the time to get to know our clients and really spend the time to let their walls down, so to speak. Yeah. Um, they've been in a lot of treatment facilities and not all of them are there for the best interest of the client, unfortunately. Yeah. And, and that's it's very prevalent out in the in the mental health field so if I can make a difference in any way and bring forth like loving and caring mm -hmm. treatment mm -hmm. um, I think that's that's why we do fresh start that's recovery. right what that's populations right. do you tend to work with or do you specialize um, in a certain like age range disorders is there anything specific that you tend to work with well we do work with adults we okay. work with 18 and up and um, we work with even we even have personal care on our license so the fact that we have personal care nice. and the license allows us to assist people with more medical challenges mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i just um i just love being able to help people yeah yeah, yeah you're so keeping them it. you're in and this is what's fun about mental health because when you start learning about the people that need these types of resources you start recognizing that they're actually pretty vulnerable before they get to a resource like Elisa's. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about the population and where they are before they get to you? Yeah, like what, like What's exactly, why would people go to you and, and what would be the purpose of you servicing their business? Like what kind of client do you tend to work with? So they that's usually, a, that, that's a good question. Are you kidding questions. me? Good question. Good question. <laughs> 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 
So our clients typically come from hospitals. That means that they've either had an instance where they attempted suicide or attempted to hurt themselves in some way, um, taking an overdose. Maybe they didn't, they accidentally did it. Maybe they purposely did it. So um, they are in inpatient facility. They're usually locked down facilities. So okay. if you can, you know, think about that, you pretty much lose everything. Right. They have control over right. your life now. And so we usually get them at a very vulnerable stage where their guards are up pretty high. They're ambivalent about things and everything's been stripped from them so yeah. it's important to have them with tender gloves and, right. and just allow them to express themselves sometimes that will look like them having outbursts yeah, yeah. punching yeah. walls mm -hmm. blowing up on you but i know i've yelled a time or two <laughs> to get my point across yes i think all of us is human <laughs> <laughs> so i just think like we 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 service people that really come from a vulnerable state. And yes, we have to take great. that very seriously. Absolutely. So what Absolutely. would be the the age range that you, you notice? Or is there like, you said 18, is there like a maximum age? <laughs> no, okay. we, don't, we don't max out. We, okay. We've had clients that are a little bit older and it's just nice to see that it's very important to me that we work as a family. Yes. yes. That we have that family feel with us. So I've watched where we have older gentlemen that come in and the, the younger ones will just, they'll embrace them mm -hmm. and help them. And you just see a different side of them that other people don't see. So yeah. we just really embrace the family in it. And you know what I think is really amazing is, is just, some people don't even know that this that your yeah. business or your group home is available yeah. maybe for their parents or for their grandparents or for themselves right right sometimes they don't know that there is still a community mm -hmm. that can be there and that can be supportive and maybe it's in your blood relatives but you yeah. still do have a support system mm -hmm. you know and it and since there isn't a cap on the age mm -hmm. that really does mean that there are services available for anybody right yeah you know mm -hmm. And that's such a good point. There. That's such a good point. Yeah. And we, we take access. We're access providers. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, so it's no cost to the client. It's actually built through their insurance. Yeah. The insurance specific to the state of Arizona. Yes. Ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> but specific to Arizona. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I have a question because, you know, how long have you been in business? Um, I have been in business with Fresh Start. It is freshly open, and oh, it is as of fresh. February. Yes! Yay! Congratulations. Now, next question. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a businesswoman? So I've been in business since 2008, October of 2008. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's quite oh, that's quite wow. a while. So is yeah. how is being an entrepreneur? Because there's being an entrepreneur and right. then there's also being an entrepreneur in mental health, mm -hmm. you know, in comparison yes. to like business or, or technology or something in that area. Right. Because mental health is something that I think is now becoming more necessary, more a part of the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So have you noticed since you've been in mental health in 2008 in comparison to, to today, 2019, have you noticed a difference in... Um, how frequently people are reaching out for services. It definitely is a change. Um, whereas uh, we grew up in, I'm gonna be honest, I grew up in a family where you don't talk about your issues. You don't go to right. anybody, you're fine, you'll figure it out. Yep. There's no there's no necessity to really address the issue. So there's an elephant in the room and yeah. we're, I'm, I'm, very, I'm seeing that it's, it's really diminishing. Yes. It's getting to a point where it's diminishing and people are willing, more willing to talk about things, more willing to reach out. Right. I've reached out for myself. I mean, yeah. the best counselors have counselors. That, ooh, and that's, that's all. I like that's that. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. I say, if your therapist doesn't have a therapist, you need a new therapist. Yeah, how can they we, relate to you? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, how can they relate to you if they don't know that they've walked through the fire? Seriously. Absolutely. Seriously. Yeah. Um, so with being a business owner, has it always been smooth sailing? Because at least what it sounds like now, you've been able to open a new business in February, mm -hmm. fresh, fresh start. Mm -hmm. Um, and you've been, you started in 2008. So I still have Dunker Enterprise. Dunker Enterprise is what you, 
I still have to Okay, give us the timeline. <laughs> give us the timeline. Timeline of? Of businesses. When did you open the first one? What was it called? When did you open your next one? Was so 2008 was JFM Inspirations Counseling Services. Okay. That was in-home services that we went into the home and provided counseling um, or it was in group homes as well. Mm -hmm. I was still doing group homes then, but I provided counseling to the group homes and managed the group homes. So I did that, and then in 2012, we turned it over to JFM Inspirations and created a group home yes. ourselves. That's we grew awesome. pretty big it. on that one and worked with, I worked with a few, few people. Nice. We worked with a lot of people. You've yeah. worked with a lot of people so in group homes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. So we successfully did that, mm -hmm. and um, we transitioned right on into Dunker Enterprise. Um, I did Dunker Enterprise July 2015, and that's mm. grown massively. We've added so many different components that's to good. it, and um, now we're open. That's right. That's amazing. That's right. I love that fresh start. Yes, right. Because yeah. everybody deserves a fresh start, no matter. Did you what. use with the that tagline? That was like a great tagline. Did we see what you did tagline? there. <laughs> Support. Support. So has business always been easy? Like, has it always been booming? No, 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 no. It definitely makes you feel, you know, like you're losing your mind, oh. and then you're you're great, and then you're losing your mind, and yeah. then you're great. It's it's ebbs and flow, and as your company grows, you will still have those, and that's how. Yeah. you know that you're alive <laughs> for yeah. one and yeah. and for two you know that eventually you'll get through it it'll be a platform it'll be a, a even kill yes. and then you'll get bored with it add some other services and it'll return again yeah so relatable <laughs> yeah. relatable so yes. if you can just relatable. like embrace that yeah. then embrace you can the get, chaos embrace it <laughs> yes because yes. it will be never ending yeah. in some way shape or form and yeah. you can you can get through it and keep yeah. going have you always known that no. you wanted to be in mental health or how did how did you I just actually stumble into that i actually did know that i wanted to be in mental health because i had a teacher um in my in my bachelor's program that his name was dr Moser, and he actually died three classes in but he was so amazing how he explained things and how he taught us he was so passionate he had a about big it. impact on you yeah, yeah. yeah. three but classes in three classes in he passed away and I kept going because he just instilled so much passion mm. and so I can say I remember some of my professors that taught me especially in grad school oh, in yeah. graduate school I yeah. mean yeah but mm -hmm. I think I can say, you know, was it in high school where you had that experience? Or? That was my bachelor's program. Really? Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. How cool. Yeah. Get to college, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, I mean, I think that I think that a big part of that is really just following your passion, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 really just going and just choosing you, right? Because I know that with. And I can just speak for for myself, but with opening our own business, like it's very, it's a very vulnerable mm -hmm. thing to do. Yes, it is. To just completely bet on yourself and yep. go all in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a huge leap yep. of faith. And most people can't do it, honestly. Most yeah. People can't do it. Yeah. There's um there's been um something that I read that a lot of business owners within like the first two years they mm -hmm. shut down or yes. they go back to like a regular job. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to shed light on. The fact that you started this journey in betting and choosing yourself in 2008 mm -hmm. to where like you've just reinvented yourself with a different business and like you mentioned adding different com um complexities components components adding different components <laughs> so that you're able to be competitive competitive you know, right competitive. right that yeah. really is a major key mm -hmm. in being a successful business owner it's one thing to be a business owner but when you're successful, you know you have competitors out there, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. And you continue to grow, you keep advancing and moving up because you have that competition out there. You better know yeah. that they're trying to get better than you are. Yeah. And that, you know, if, if for our student athletes out there, you probably heard your coach saying, while you're sleeping, somebody's practicing. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Um, right? Or and watching you and trying to take what you have. They are so studying. Have to stay ahead of the game constantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Same with mm -hmm. your mental health. Ain't it? Oh, yeah. Ain't that the truth? So with, with that being 
you know, with being a business owner and going into adulthood of like creating your career, mm -hmm. how has that taken a toll? Even though you are a licensed professional counselor, which mm -hmm. Like a very successful, very educated woman right Takes here. Takes a lot to get like to We're this so guy. lucky to have her here Thanks to spend some time here. with us. But, but with all of the training that you've had, how has creating your career affected your mental health? Or oh. what do you do to tend to it? Bad anxiety. Okay. <laughs> it, it definitely has increased my anxiety. Right. Uh, with anxiety, whatever goes up must come down. Depression comes with it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's I so how do you because because everyone is human right, right. whether we we're very are, successful we or right. we're still working to build ourselves wherever we're at in life right. mental health is is very real yeah. so what have you learned and what would you encourage to other individuals who are maybe listening who that are battling who are battling with anxiety or depression or just choosing their career and, and going in that path what have you learned that's been helpful well, I've learned to let the small stuff go. And when things are not in your control, just you just have to let it be. Um, I've also learned it is extremely important to surround yourself with like-minded people. Because if not, someone can take you down the rabbit hole that you're already going down anyway. Right. Yeah. So it's best to keep like-minded people with you, people that are in the same fields, people that are business owners just in general because they can understand where, where you're going through and really guide you and I've been very blessed to have people around me that are doing the same thing and pushing me forward yeah and a healthy yeah. support system can really launch your dreams yeah. into something that becomes reality it does along yeah. with counseling I still do along counseling it, yeah I still do counseling when I need to yeah that's right that's right and it's, that's just so necessary because I think that a lot of the time people think, well, if you're educated in it, like you must be super healthy. Fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but even doctors go to the doctor, yeah. right? So yeah. there's different ways that everybody can learn how to cope. Yeah, but I love how you said that too. I think that's beautiful yeah. because the reality is the best counselors have issues. Yeah. yeah. How, how else would they be able to but help you through they've it? also been able to master stress management yeah and that's what I mean that's what counseling is is learning how to master your own levels of stress because once you get to that point you're unstoppable yeah. yeah you're able to overcome a lot of your fears um, and but everybody goes through it very differently yeah. right very so some people go to a counselor some people might go to a pastor right somebody might just go to a support group or they might do a self-help book there's a lot of different ways to learn how to become a master of stress management, but if you want something that's professional, you want something that's going to find you solutions, you come to a counselor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're counselor. trying to help out. Yeah. By the way, I just noticed, because we have two two cameras, yeah. I noticed that I've been looking at the bright one, <laughs> so I'm probably looking like yeah. <laughs> my eyes are like on the looking floor, down. but there's a camera behind, so in case you were wondering. Yeah. Um, so, really quick. We're going to say hi to some of y'all. Hello. There is a TL Towns. Hola, hola. Intergalactic Enigma. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, welcome. There is Optical. Wait, is that right? There's some interesting names. Leah Drama Rethan. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> yes. I bless you. I don't know what I said. Um, but welcome. Thanks for tuning in. There's for, um, you know what? Maybe this isn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to say hello to hey, everybody. everybody. <laughs> so if any of you have questions about, or if you know somebody that is in the older population, old up, you know, Dorina likes to refer to <gasps> experienced adults. Yes. Which, what age range would you put in For that? our experienced adult? Yes. Let's do like 55 and up. 55 and up? 55 um, and Elisa up. does have services for individuals 18 and up, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if you know somebody who may be um, within that age range mm -hmm. um, and they are severely mentally ill, then, and they need some support, they need a home, they need just something that can be helpful for them. Mm -hmm. Stable and safe. Stable and safe, that's the biggest yeah. thing. Um, but there are locations out there. 
especially if you're in the Phoenix Valley, reach out to us, DM us yeah. if you know your grandparents, your parent, yeah. your aunt, your uncle, whoever it is, reach out to us because we have services. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So um, I think one thing that's important for folks to know are the types of conditions that you work with and you treat. So is there anything specific? Because I think oftentimes people have an idea of what somebody is experiencing or struggling mm -hmm. with, or they might know what the diagnosis is called, but you know, let's get specific. What are some things that you see that you treat? Well, we treat bipolar disorder. We tr treated uh, psychosis disorders. Um, really. Any substance abuse? Definitely substance abuse. Okay. Definitely substance That's abuse. Good to know. We have a long history and experience of treating substance abuse, mm -hmm. utilizing evidence based practices. Um, so, EPTs. Yes, and I'm actually a certified. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapist as well so we just really focus on evidence-based practices in our facility that is so important it's it's so important to get treatment with somebody who actually is trained in something that's supported by a lot of research and a lot of data and yeah. so um, I think I think at some point in our in our life I don't know if it's now maybe another day we can talk about the difference between a life coach and a counselor yeah. well very different one is licensed one is licensed because <laughs> they're trained yes I mean there's a bunch of different Lots differences, of differences I think but mm -hmm. um, you know getting treatment by somebody who's a professional who's been trained in it who studied this particular type of condition um, I think that's really important especially if you're consider considering a residential treatment center or a group yeah. home yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay yeah cool man so let's Don't forget Dr. Irvine. Dunker Enterprise. She said, right. don't, don't she likes, like, don't hey, forget. listen, I, I got another business. Dunker Enterprise. <laughs> That's right. Dunker Enterprise. Fresh, Fresh Card. Yeah. JFM And JFM Inspirations. <laughs> Those are all group homes. That's a, a service. Three. That's a three edges. Individuals, made. adults, 18 to no cap. <laughs> that makes me want to. <laughs> No like, cap, but 18 <laughs> to no cap um, individuals in Arizona, in the Phoenix Valley. The Dunker Enterprise is a little different. It's just, it's just, it's just. So we'll be some, accurate here. Okay, so let's get some clarity. Please so, explain so Dunker Enterprise. Dunker Enterprise is total, it's, it's a, a lot different. So we implement services into group homes because we already have a background in group homes. Okay. We implement services, BHP services, counseling, intakes um we do clinical oversight we do clinical trainings oh okay um, so and we also provide policies and procedures to group homes so we do That's credentialing great. for group homes so anything you can think about with group homes we provide services for including billing Whoa. um nice yes you nice. check out okay. sonova deer for the oh for the billing. Plug. yes plug. <laughs> <laughs> so we do that but the, the passion of Dunker Enterprise is that I give other individuals a platform to learn business mm -hmm. and become their own business owner. That's right. That's awesome. The That's ultimate right. goal is for everybody, every independent contractor that works with us to become their own independent business. And we work together as affiliates in Connect. Uh, yeah, we we're connect and we seal the whole mental health field. Um, not only that, but we do behavioral coaching in the schools now. We provide counseling wow. in the schools. Wow. We're moving up oh, to Colorado amazing. and providing services to them. Congratulations. Um, yes. yes. Wow, that's, yes. that's awesome. It's wonderful. Yes. Dondre awesome. Campbell. Dondre Campbell okay. actually handles the school sector. He's on uh, IG as Dre U of M. Look, okay. Look okay. What the okay. plug? Yes. He, a, yes. He also, we also do uh, DUI services. Um, mm. We provide DUI classes. Again, Dre Campbell, Dre U of M. Okay. Um, he nice. does those services as well. Is and Dre on Instagram? He is. Okay. okay. So Dre, check him out, guys. R E U of M. All right. That's where you can find him. So we got Dunker and Fries. We got Fresh Start Recovery. We got Dre. Mm -hmm. Campbell, he's not he's not the business though. He is a is he a part of the business? He's a part he's of a, the business. Okay, meaning that he controls and and runs the school section. Awesome. Gotcha. Very school, cool. high school, it's, middle school, college. There we do K through twelve. 
Got it. Okay. Thank Very you. cool. Awesome. Very cool. Connecting was... with other business owners. How cool is that? Yeah. yeah. That's How awesome. How cool is that? Okay. Man. So, man, thank you for being here. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you for Bye. being here. You guys need to connect with her. Yeah. So, what are your pages? So, I have three. <laughs> Well, we have Dunker Enterprise. Mm -hmm. You can find us on IG and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And Fresh Start uh, Recovery, you can find us actually on IG only right now. Okay. So nice. we're just starting out, but yeah. you can find us Perfect. on IG, Fresh Start Recovery. That's right. Maybe, check her out, y'all. Yeah, definitely check her out. Um, check her out. If you have questions, DM us, yeah. DM her, mm -hmm. um, and then we can definitely schedule something Email is always nice, which emails are all connected to the yeah. Instagram as well. Oh, yeah. And um, if you guys enjoyed this interview, if you yourself are somebody who's in recovery, maintained recovery or sobriety, we definitely would love to sit down and talk with you and share your story. Sounds trippy. If you're <laughs> right. Can you guys hear that? that. <laughs> I can't so know, right? Um, if you're a behavioral health professional, we'd also love to connect with you as well. We are based out in Arizona, yes. so keep that in mind. Um, y también si hablas español y es, eres un profesional, si puedes mandarnos un el, el, el correo electrónico, yes. podemos hacer una junta y hablar más sobre el salud mental. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, that really fun. Fun. I appreciate that. I appreciate well, that. that. All right, you guys. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna post this on our YouTube. Yes. At Empower El Mundo, the same as our Instagram. Go there, like, subscribe. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start doing these weekly, so we'll yeah, have a different yeah. professional. Um, if you're somebody who yeah. you want to come out, come on and talk mental health. Yeah, we love Let to us have know. you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Thank and remember. <laughs> and remember. <laughs> be empowered. Live empowered. Ew.